Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to enable Fortnite hidden cinematic settings in-game. Now, if you don't know what the cinematic settings are, it is technically what Epic Games uses to film those really nice gameplay trailers and possibly the cinematics that they use for new seasons and new chapters and stuff like that. Essentially, what cinematic mode does is it is kind of a step higher than Epic settings. And what it will do is essentially uncap the rendering limits on all of the effects that Fortnite normally uses. So Lumen, Nanite, Rendering Distance, and even Shadow Quality, Grass Rendering Distance, Particle Rendering Distance. Everything will be loaded pretty much at an infinite quality, at an infinite range. Now the reason why this is probably kept away from us is because the performance impact is incredibly high. So you really need an incredibly powerful PC to be able to run this at a playable frame rate. Um, unless you have, you know, an RTX card, I would not recommend trying this at all. As a matter of fact, I would recommend having at least an RTX 3080 or higher or an RTX 4070 or higher. Today, I'm going to be showing you and testing this on an RTX 4070 so you can get a good idea of just how heavy this is. But for now, we're going to get right into how to install this. So in order to enable these hidden cinematic settings, we're going to need to modify the Fortnite config file. Now, the Fortnite config file, you can find it by typing and pressing Windows plus R on your keyboard, and it will open this run window. And essentially what we're going to do is type in local app data and then put two percentage signs at the end. You can see right here. Press enter. Essentially, what's going to happen is it's going to open where all of your programs store all of its data. And we're going to scroll down until we find Fortnite game right here. And we're going to open this, go to saved, go to config, go to Windows client, and then you're going to see this, this file right here that says game user settings. Now, you could open this up like this, and you can see all of Fortnite settings. It looks like a bunch of nonsense. And in here, you can actually find stuff like this like view distance quality, anti-aliasing quality, shadow quality, and I have them all set to 5. Now, you could do this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now. You can go ahead and set this group to the max of everything, leave resolution quality to default, but set everything else to 5. This will give you what I like to call a light cinematic experience. If you just want to be able to have a playable experience and play normal BR at at least 60 FPS, only change these. But if you want to go above and beyond and have everything at the highest it possibly can go, then we're not going to modify this at all. Instead, we're going to completely replace it. Now, in the description of this video, I've provided a Mediafire link to a custom game user settings file that I have created that will enable all of these settings for you. Now, you don't have to worry because these settings will not affect your keybinds. It will not affect anything else. All this does is affects other user preferences and as a matter of fact, what I would recommend doing is just copying this and then like pasting it and then backing up your own game user settings. So if something ends up getting messed up, you can just replace it. So just back it up just in case. And that's that. So after you download the game user settings that I've provided, what you're going to do is just drag it into this window and then replace the one that Fortnite has. Just completely replace it. What I would also recommend doing is before you do that, go into your game. Make sure you're on DirectX 12. This will not work if you're not on DirectX 12. And just go ahead and set this, your quality preset to Epic. Apply it and then close the game. I would recommend doing this before you replace the game user settings just to have a higher chance of success. Now, if you want to know if you've succeeded, all you have to do is go inside of your settings window, go down to your graphic settings, and you're going to see some really weird behavior. You're going to see that... Shadows is going to appear off. They are not off, I can assure you. Do not touch any of this. Global illumination is going to say 8. That's normal. It normally caps out at 4, so we've doubled the global illumination quality. Reflections are just going to say on. <laughs> because this is going above and beyond what lumen normally does. So this is basically deterring the lumen renderer to a fully-fledged ray-traced renderer. So this is going to increase the reflection quality to its absolute maximum. We've got view distance, which is going to say option. This is going to basically make your view distance infinite. And this also applies to the effects here and post-processing. So you're going to have water physics 
even in places where they normally would not be enabled. For example, like as you can see right here, we have water physics enabled in a UEFN map, which from my experience in the past, no matter how much I've tried to use epic settings, water physics have never worked for me in these maps. So this is how you know it works. If you see a bunch of nonsense here, then this pretty much is a guarantee that you, you're in the right area. And this is pretty much all you have to do. This is how you enable Fortnite's hidden cinematic settings. And I will warn you, as I said before, this is very heavy. Do not expect this to run at 60 FPS unless you use DLSS. This is the one setting you can change. You can change DLSS. You can put this down to DLSS and set it to quality or performance or whatever. Whatever one is going to give you the most FPS, experiment with them. But do not mess with the other stuff um, because it's not really worth it. What I like to do is have it at TSR Epic in native because what this does is it actually increases the rendering quality and makes the image look incredibly sharp. Now, another thing that I will point out is that if we go back to our Windows client folder, if Fortnite sometimes will detect if you've modified things that you should not be modifying. So if you want to prevent Fortnite from reverting these settings, you right click this, click properties, and then set it to read only. And essentially what this is going to do is stop Fortnite from messing with your settings for you. Obviously, if you want to change any of this stuff and you apply it, it will apply, but it's going to reset back to what it is in here every time you restart the game. So if you have settings that you want to change, you might have to change them every time you restart the game. But other than that, that's how you enable cinematic settings. And yeah, I hope you have fun getting really nice and pretty cinematics and screenshots for your maps or just your gameplay in general. So thank you for watching and I hope you have fun.